What's up, guys? Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. I'm with Shulk and <laughs> Andrew Garfield from The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> or at least it looks like it with this outfit that he has on. Yeah, I just won this outfit by going and doing this challenge mode through this red crystal. Oh, we're going through the leg pass. Sounds slutty. Okay, so we're trying to head to Colony 6 right now. I don't know why we're going to Colony 6. I just know that that's where we're trying to head for whatever reason. Damn, leg pass was really, really short. I guess it was just a pass. Oh, people? Who them? They have a quest for us? We have a shop. Good day. Palms Traveler. Wow, it's rough for us to bump into anyone else in this area. Why did the other people disappear? You look like you can handle yourself. Do you think you could take out a couple of leg are done for us? They're always attacking for no reason. I hate them things. What is a leg are done? <laughs> it's a goofy name. I appreciate it. They live on the gar plane. Gar. You have another quest? Gar plane is massive. A lot of things live there, including monsters that like to make trouble. Let down your guard for a second and they'll trash your stock. Those maker bunnets are causing utter chaos. Can you take a few of them out for us? Yeah, I got you. In the future, not again. Why is it always the same person giving us all the quests? Have I ever seen a field ponio? They're quick on their feet and as aggressive as they come. They're a constant hassle for travelers like us. I got you, man. About to pay up a handsome amount of money. I'm about to relieve you. Of course, all great quests come in fours. So that's what I've learned from Xenoblade. <laughs> I have already asked you to do three favors for me. Sorry to ask, but I need just one last favor. Do you think you could help us out by getting rid of some leg wolf? <laughs> the constant howling really puts us on edge when we're trying to rest. Oh, I think the leg in the name is referring to where they live since they live on the leg. They might have a lair somewhere. Yeah. Not an evil lair! It's so big, so many animals live up there. Some of them are really fierce. You best give them a wide, a wide berth. You have to keep your wits about you to avoid an early grave. Well? The guard plane up ahead is so big. So many animals live there. Some of them are really fierce. You'd best give them a wide berth? I don't know that word. <laughs> you have to keep your wits about you to avoid an early grave. Yes? I'll do my best. What can we buy from the shop? Is this weapon better for anybody? Uh, a little bit. Not like enough for it to matter. He doesn't have anything good. He's just selling some basic clothes. Uh, I probably won't come again. I'm not a big fan of the traveling salesmen. They don't have enough. Whoa. Whoa. Is this the Smash Bros stage? Which is, we're on the quad. We're on his quad. This is... All the areas in this game are so pretty. Yeah, this is the Smash Bros. stage. Look over there. Smoke? Maybe someone's got a fire going. Hope they're cooking up something good. Smoke. It's hardly a good spot for a barbecue. Come on, let's take a look. What does Shulk know about a good barbecue? He's not even from the south. I'm actually... Actually, I think he is from the south, now that I think about it. He's from the Shin, which seems pretty far south to me. Ether types will attack in response to ether use. These will attack if an art indicated with a horizontal line is used. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, okay, so these are both ether arts. Where is my ether on the screen? I haven't noticed anything ether related. Oh, yeah. That's 
what I'm talking about. Can I kill this big dude? Level 13. I feel like I can. Let's go for it. It looks like a Triceratops. Am I going to have to kill the whole family? Air Slash. Inflicts Break. I'm not sure what's different about that one. Okay, the aggro's not on me. It's the perfect time to get straight to the rear. Oh wow, he's doing quite a bit of damage to Ryan over there. You okay, Ryan? Hold on, buddy. We're almost done. I'm gonna wobble him. We have to kill another one. Okay, hopefully let's heal first. Hopefully nobody attacks us. A smelly hide. Ew. Another one. Gross. We all healed up? We are. Let's attack on the back. Yeah, starting with 2,000 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, inflicts break. Inside attacks inflict slow? I don't think I understand. So, I have to do, so this side attack that I just did now also inflicts slow since I did that? Also, why is my damage going down so quickly? Or my HP? I don't know why I refer to it as damage. Dang, I didn't do the back attack from the back. Are the side attacks enough? I don't know why I'm not doing my chain attacks. I'm missing out on good opportunities. Oh, there's another one attacking. Uh, am I gonna go for it? Wobble, baby. Oh no. Got the fatal lunge, not the fatal lunge. Give me, please. Shield me from the demons. Is that enough? I think so. Oh shoot. Can he do damage whenever I have the shield on? I can't tell. Why can't I chain attack? I think I need my thing to fill up all the way. Just the baby left. Oh, we did it. We barely survived. Killed them all. We're level 14 already. Nice. Wow, these are super large. This is so gorgeous. All the stars, the, the sound of nature, little fireflies, a lot of wildlife out here. The scale, it's so big. I like the guitar in the background music. The Jabos Rock. How do I get up here? No, oh, there's a slant. Firefly, do I? I used to love catching fireflies as a child. I would put them in jars until I realized that that was pretty abusive to, to the fireflies, so I stopped. Whoa, is that an attacking toucan? What the heck is that? That's the closest I've ever seen to an attacking toucan in my, in my lifetime. Ooh, this is a broken down car, a warthog. No, we're not playing Someone's Halo. Left the buggy out here. Not the buggy. That's strange. Who would just abandon a buggy in this place? And it's pretty new. Is it brand new? Not brand new, but it's in very good condition. You wouldn't just abandon it. So, what did happen to the driver? Whoa, what? So it can just do that? There's a boy. He's being attacked by monsters. You saw it happening? Where? I don't know. But it was near some water. Near water? But what made you have a vision all of a sudden? Maybe it was triggered by touching the buggy. Well, we'd better find him. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Okay. So Ryan has a really cool neck tag. Kind of like a dog tag, but more natural looking. 
Should we go over to the waterfall? Is there any other water? I think I see the ocean over there. But the waterfall seems more promising. Probably leads to some sort of river. Oh, here's the full river. Uh, the Lake Wolf. Oh, it's a it's a play on the word wolf. All the animals are like the same name you would see in real life, but with just like a, a letter different. So instead of bunny, it's bunny. Instead of wolf, it's wolf. Hmm. It almost looks like it's written out as some sort of accent. Bolt. It's like <laughs> a German accent. We got to kill the leg wolf. Okay, Ryan, is that your strongest outfit? Let me like double check. And now the Imperials. Quite a bit stronger. Boy, did I just take it from Shulk? Oh, Shulk is topless now. <laughs> That's so funny. That's actually, that looks pretty hot. Like those, those pants with the belt just kind of like riding up like that. And then the gauntlets on. I'm digging that. Wait, can we like fully? Is this how you see naked Shulk? Wait a second. Am I about to be horny on main? It is. Nice. So these are like the boxers that he wears in Smash Bros. This makes sense why they included him as a character playable in Smash like this now, if you can just undress him. Wait, can you do this to like both characters? Wait, <laughs> hold up, <laughs> hold up, sorry. But I am curious, okay. Okay, so now if we just like put it back on, Where's my, where's my pants? I already have this on. Okay, so if I just like put it back on Shulk, now is Ryan. Oh, damn, Ryan, he has the stitches like right in the front. That's like a kind of cool texture for underwear. It's like very shiny, like, like, like fish scales or something like that. Okay, we gotta choose some armor to put on. It seems like exotic armor is the best for us right now out of all the options we have. Yeah, apart from the thing that Shulk is wearing. Okay, so it kind of looks off, but since it's the strongest thing we have, I think we're set. Okay, this helmet is a lot stronger, but the glasses are kind of cuter, honestly. What am I doing, the stronger helmet or the cuter glasses? Can I, wait, can I wear the helmet and then just wear the glasses instead? Colony type, middle type two. Are these like all the other options that we've seen so far? There's a lot of cosmetic options. Prodigal type, resort style, oh cool. So we can be wearing the helm as far as the stats are concerned, but then cosmetically we can wear something else. That's really cool. I'm glad that's an option. <clears throat> Is that just something I can do for Shulk as well? What options does he have? Sorry, I'm like kind of going into all the sub menus and everything, but hey, that's part of the game. RPGs seem to be very menu focused. Ekru? What is Ekru? Is Ekru mean like naked in some sort of weird way? Homs military. Ooh, I like that. That's a nice look. The, all the clothes in this world are so cool. I want to dress like them. Like I would wear this stuff. Like I feel like I've found the outfits that Lil Tall is supposed to be wearing in the future. I just gotta dress like Shulk and Link on stage and people will love it. Okay. Sorry, we just like dove into all of the fashion. We looked at both characters and their underwear. Great times. And now we're just gonna move on with our lives. Hopefully no one looks at our search history. The mat eyes. Can I cross this? Yeah. Wet socks everyone's favorite is this where the kid was are we here 
Should I follow the dotted line, perhaps? Who wants to fight? Not a spear turkin. Oh, it's a turkey. Oh, I thought. Wait, turkin. So that's. Is that a spin off of turkey or toucan? Or is this like a, a turkey toucan? Is it just like a combination of the two? I don't know, but it's attacking. <laughs> this is so funny. Side swipe. The levels seem to have a really big indicator to how strong you are. Like if it's like a one or two level difference, it can make a huge difference on the outcome of the battle. <laughs> Ryan, why do you keep running into my face? You funny goofball. <laughs> it's a pretty large open area. Well, there's another waterfall down here. Okay, this must be the spot. Oh, but I'm seeing exclamation. Are these more? Got some more wolves. Nope, I'm being a good boy. I'm gonna do my side quests. Like a good lad. I wanna get the, the sticker. I need a little crown sticker on my notebook. My, my quest notebook. I'm a bootlicker for them good marks in my, in my grade book. What can I say? So fleecy. It's like the fancier version of being on fleek. I'm so on fleece. Teamwork. Rain's never heard of it. Enemies are easy. I'm happy I'm understanding the combat. I was saying I should do more chain attacks, but realistically I can't do them as often as I thought. It takes a lot of time to fill up our chain attack bar. We're making it a safer place for everyone. Reputation change? I don't care about my reputation. I don't care about what nobody thinks of me. Whoa, these ones are huge, huge. Look at how big these Shook, are they was attacking? Oh, oh it is. Ah. You alright, kid? Who are you? That can wait. Go! Get out of here. Leave these guys <laughs> to us. Uh, okay. He's asking the wrong questions. Ready when you are. We already got some practice. We can take on these guys. Uh, give me the wobble. Got them both. Ryan, did you do your thing? Ryan, you suck. You suck. Okay, I'm getting behind. This is where it's all about. On the side. Just gotta keep moving. I don't, so, I don't understand ether, or, yeah, I don't understand ether, where is it listed at? He's down, he's down, he's doing all the moves I can, yeah, okay, there's one left, but not for long, because I did the behind attack, and a side attack. And I'm healing my boy. And I'm going to do a Monado attack. A level 2 Monado attack at that. Um, I don't think Shadow Y really matters. Good job, team. Got him back to his vehicle. His vehicle. Okay, it should work now. Great. You saved my skin. Oh yeah, my he's an engineer. circuited and then there were those monsters and... Well, thanks. I fixed the circuit, but it's out of ether. Change the cylinder and it will be as good as new. I think it's time for the introductions. I'm Ryan. He's Shulk. Pleased to meet you. 
Oh, hi. I'm Juju. Juju. Um, I have a friend named Bad Juju. Where are you two heading? If you've got time, you should come back to our camp. Your camp? Yeah. It's not far. How about it? Let's take him up on the offer. I'm surprised there's a, been a long journey. Here, but they might have some information. I suppose. Juju, can you tell us how to get there? Sure. If you go back to the oasis, you should see a tall stone post. Head there first. Then what? There's a small path in the woods next to the stone post. Just follow it down to our camp. Got it. Now, let's make a move. I don't... Oh, we have a guest. I don't even need to pay attention to the directions, because I know the dotted line is just going to teach us how to get there. This area looks like it's a giant camel. Camel map. We have to go to the camel's toe. Where's the... I don't want to go that far south. Nobody wants to mess with us. I'm the king of the plains. I probably don't want to mess with this dude over here. Whoa! Level 81? No, do not. No, sir. Who's... Is a wolf trying to get some revenge? Sir. You need to calm yourself. Are we at a battle? Whoa, 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 what? Collect items for future quests. When you pick up a collectible or a treasure chest item, you may have a vision. You should try and keep any items you will need for a future quest. Items necessary for the future are marked with an exclamation point. You used to play with these when you were little. You played with moths? Weirdo. That's an interesting use of the Monado skills. Finishing quests before they even begin. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just killed a wolf. The attack music. Ooh, actually, I'm afraid this guy's gonna notice us. I'm gonna move a little bit further away. Hey, Ryan, come over here. I don't want. I don't want that giant attacking us. Not worth the risk. Got some giant totem poles happening. Whoa! What's floating around? Are those enemies? Aqua Nebula. Those are pretty. So that's just a head up. Ooh, did this stone pillar? I see. Was this the last enemy? The field ponyo. It's like a unicorn, but the horn is on its nose instead of forehead. That's unique. Okay, I feel bad for being the one who initiates when he's just minding his own business. But we gotta get that experience, baby! I really do wonder if games like Undertale will have more of an impact on games involving combat in the future. It almost feels like wrong just attacking random creatures out in a field like this. Like, not, not, not in that serious of a way, but in a low-key way, it's like, why am I just attacking little animals out here if they're not attacking me first? Like, it's not even in self-defense. I'm, I'm a bounty hunter. Which, is being a bounty hunter moral? I get, for the most part, probably not. Do bounty hunters care? Most likely not. They also have zebra stripes. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's right. Attack Ryan. No, not me. Attack up, Attack the tank. Well, I can hit it from the back. <laughs> I need to stop referring to it as hitting it from the back. <laughs> Not appropriate, Mr. Two Kings. Oh, the chain attack? Is it happening? Yeah, it is. Doing the, the good combo. 
So I just do like a little jump for joy. That was cute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Another one's just attacking out of nowhere. I was just trying to itch my forehead, man. My forehead had a little itch, and I went for it. And the niece, not the niece. I don't think this counts towards the side quests. I wouldn't have even killed you, but you pulled yourself into this. You have nobody to blame but yourself. I do enjoy the combat. It has a, a decent amount of variety to keep it interesting. Especially when it gets difficult. There's like a little set of the melody in the background music that keeps reminding me of the song Dancing Queen by ABBA. <laughs> I'll try to sing along with it if I can. Level 15. Good games. Random stranger. Stranger danger or no? That's something we gotta look out for. Wait, I don't wanna, I was trying to talk to this dude. Right, I'm not trying to attack right now. Who is the, okay, whatever. I think it's like random NPCs. I like how Ryan is attacking whatever I'm locked in on. Ryan, stop. Calm your tits. Hello. Hi, I want to tell you something. I saw a huge shadow on the plane during a thunderstorm one day, and then it walked toward Ragua Lake. If it was a monster, we don't stand a chance. Can you kill it for us? Well, that's a big, big reward. The White Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo, isn't that the name of the big purple furry guy from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends? Be careful. Leave it to me! Oh, she, if she gives us four quests, I swear. The Rampage. A Violet or Violet and Dante. I haven't seen one of those guys yet. I can't wait to pick up the vegetables that grow there. Pick your vegetable that grows there. I said what I said. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what I said, but I said what I said. Gotta climb up the hill. I'm running up the hill. Ba -da -bum -ba -bum. <laughs> However the lyrics go, it's awesome. Are we almost to the camp? Can't Green Lake. Juju. Oh. Where have you been? <sighs> Juju! Ah! I thought Shulk was falling in love, but no. He was seeing her death. <laughs> Great. Don't tell me you were. I've told you a thousand times. We're not ready to leave the camp yet. But I thought... Juju! Sorry, Sharla. Sharla. That's, I've never heard that name before. So it's cool to hear names you've never that heard gear. before. You must be survivors from the Defense Force. Is Colony 6 okay? Did Gaddo make it? Hold on. What are you talking about? We've... We've come from Colony 9. Colony 9? They saved me from some monsters. This is Ryan and Shulk. Oh, so you're not from Colony 6. Sorry Thank to you for helping Juju. I'm his sister, Sharla. I told them they could rest here with us. Did you now? Well, all right. I suppose that's only fair. <laughs> Did something happen to Colony 6? Actually, we're heading there ourselves. Colony 6 has been our home. It's been occupied by the Mekon. Dang. No. Is there anywhere safe? I'll tell you about it inside. Follow me. Wow. <laughs> the shorts could not be shorter. Can I ride around in this? Is this my? Can I get my own vehicle? 
I hope so. That sounds sick. What do we have here? This is kind of cute. Olga. Well. Olga. I used to run a chemist in Colony 6, you know. I'm so happy to be able to use those skills here. We appreciate you, Olga. Matt. Is that like Matire? Matirona? Matriona? Matriona? Excuse me. Do we have a minute to talk? Do you know Pama, the Nopon boy? He's been inconsolable ever since the day Colony 6 was attacked. You see, he lost both his parents in the attack. So I want to do something for him. He really likes reading stories, and I want to give him a book. My creative skills start and end at drawing and painting pictures. However, Iwan, who fled here with us, is a fantastic storyteller. I was thinking of asking him to write a book for me, but it's not that easy for me to ask him myself. That doesn't sound good. I think we should get this sorted as soon as possible. Yeah, we have to do something. I just want everyone to feel better. Although, cheering Iwan up is going to be a lot more difficult. I won't lie, by saying I understand what this kid's going through, but it just ain't right when a little kid is as sad as he is. I agree, Pama and everyone else. Then you're looking at the best people for the job. We of all people know what it's like to have a home demolished. So, you'll talk to Iwan for me? Please take your time. Don't rush on my account. Alright, cool. We're counselors now, too. We can take up any job. Jack of all trades. Shulk of all trades. Let Iwan know I'd like him to help with writing the book. Then we'll take it from there. Oh, it's going to be so good if he agrees. You asked the right one for the job. Greetings. Kuroki have bust up with friend. Kuroki broke friend's favorite toy. Ooh. So, what stuff do I want to sell the most? Items are exchanged one for one. Choose the item you want from among those offered by the person you were talking to. Is this my first time seeing a trading tutorial? Okay. Oh, can I not? Wait, what? I don't think this is what I want to sell right now. Oh, was that stuff I could buy? Wait. So let's trade again. Okay, so I can sell... Oh, is this stuff I can buy? Gotcha. I don't think I have any currency to buy this stuff. I'm a little bit confused by that. Yes. Our home, Colony 6, was attacked by the Mechon. Will you listen to what I have to say? Uh, let's come back in a second. Let's continue looking around the camp first. Is this Iwan? It is. How's it what going? does he look like? You want to make a picture book for Pama? And you want me to write the story for it? What makes you think I'd want to get involved in any of that? I'm not an author anymore. I'm nothing. I've decided I'm never writing ever again. You don't give up, do you? I'll tell you what, if you want me to do this, I'll need something first. I need some Ponyo neck meat. The liquid collected from that meat makes the finest ink. You'll never find any though. Just you try, go on. Just don't come crying when you get a kick in the backside. Well, I already have two neck meats. I'm the neck meter. This person asleep? Arda. Oh, hello. When I was in Colony 6, there was a little boy who loved to talk, but he shut himself off to the rest of us. It pains me to see him like that. Well. Okay, it's, it's selling time. We have the neck meat. Do I just want to sell everything else? I guess so. We have a decent amount of money at this point. Whoa, this weapon's way stronger for for Ryan. 125 added on to the auto attack. Yes, please. What else we got? 
prairie attire? Does the S mean it's for Shulk? And then that means there's an empty slot on it. Okay. Um. This one's quite a bit better for him as well. I'll get it for him. I don't know if he needs the gauntlets. Does he need the trousers? We'll make it match. Oh, infantry boots. That's gonna do a lot more too. Let's give them both in. Oh, I can't buy another pair. Okay. All well, all well. I just spent a lot of my money, believe it or not. What's back out here? I see more quests. What is this giant machine right here? Is it like a, a water pump or a water generator? Hoy, I got something to tell you. Wanna hear? There's an everlasting ether deposit not far from here. I do not know about it, no. Could you go in more detail? The location's a secret, but it's your lucky day. I'm gonna tell you. You sure you're not having a laugh with us? Cause I am buying it. Sounds too good to be true. You don't have to believe me. Ain't no skin off my back. It's you who will be losing out. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look, but I smell a rat. So what's it gonna be? You going or not? Just make up your minds. You gotta believe in the abundance, Ryan. Is this where the everlasting gobstoppers are from? Go out the camp, go along the cliff on the right, and then in the cave. Good luck. All right, looks like we have another another good quest. And... What characters are supposed to have this heart-to-heart? -heart? You know? It was Satata who designed and built Juju's buggy. But Satata feels bad for getting Juju hurt by giving him buggy. Nah, don't blame yourself for that. That's his own fault for being a stupid... Uh, I never put on my new stuff. So, let's put on... Ryan's new, really new strong weapon. And then, let's see, the prairie attire. Covers up a little bit of the muscles, but as I, I bought the bottoms too, right? Whoa. Okay, those seem a little bit emo, but I'm fine with it. Those boots match a lot better. Those boots are a lot stronger. Wait. Oh, yeah. I only bought one pair. That's right. And I think that's kind of all that I have to put on. All right. Let's go talk to Sharla. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a listen. Give me the whole story, toots. We had already fought off the Mekon a year ago, at the Battle of Sword Valley. Mm. It left us with a full sense of security. The Colony's Sixth Defense Force didn't even notice the approaching Mekon. By the time the air raid siren sounded, a swarm of Mekon had blackened the sky. They ate people and burned our buildings. Me and Juju dedicated ourselves to evacuating the children and elderly. Seems like a pretty similar story. I don't know what happened next. It's just like what happened to Colony 9. They attacked your colony as well. Yes. It's good that you managed to evacuate so many. We have a Tharon, the Colonel, to thank for that. Him and Gaddo. This Gaddo? He would have been my husband by now, if not for all this. Hmm. That's sad. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Uh. We can't lose hope just yet. I'm certain Gaddo and the other soldiers are alive. They're still fighting. I can feel it. Um. Hmm? You're on your way to Colony 6, right? You bet. We're up for some revenge. I bet we can even get your colony back. There you go, showing off again. <laughs> if anyone can do it, it's you two. Could. Um. Uh, could you take me with you? 
to the colony. Juju, the people here need us. How many times do I have to tell you? But you heard, the Mechon attacked Colony 9. That means a load of them have left Colony 6 already. It has to. <sighs> Even if that's true. No, especially if it's true. We cannot expose the camp to any more danger. So, you don't care what happens to the people in the colony? How can you be so heartless? Are you that scared of the Mechon? This kid's passionate. Where's... Ooh, I don't like how those are just coming out of the ground like that. That's creepy. That's a terrifying vision. What Wait, does it kid. mean? Ryan! You ought to know how Charlotte feels. Watch your mouth and have some respect. Yeah. I'll oh, go and make dinner. I could eat. Could definitely Maybe eat. I was too hard on him. Shulk? I like Ryan's Ryan, vest. You really remind me of Gaddo when you get angry. I, I do? Gaddo's taken care of us ever since we were young. I always saw him as a big brother, really. But he was more of a father to Juju. He'd call him kid whenever he told him off, just like you did. I don't think I'm ready to be someone's old man just yet. Wait, Shulk. Did it happen again? Yeah. You had another vision. You could see into the future. Oh, no. Future. No. You might think Juju! life might be a breeze. Life might be a breeze. We could go into the distance, yeah. We could see The buggy's anything. gone. He's going to Colony 6 on his own. Wow. Stupid, stupid. kid. That's we what I was hurry. thinking. Something bad's going to happen. What did you see? A deep valley. Everything's engulfed in flames. There's a black shadow. It kills Juju. Is it the Mechon with the metal face? Yeah. Where does it happen? Is it near Colony 6? I'm not sure. I think so. Let's get after him, Shulk! Hold on a second. What was all that about? I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. The future? That's not possible. That's what I thought too. I still can't explain this, but that vision I had will come true unless we stop it. So you're telling me Juju's in danger? Believe it or don't believe it, that's your call. But I wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for Shulk's visions. Juju. Yes, you would. Because you would die and then respawn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't say I believe you. But what have I got to lose? I like the way you think. Charlo, you're... What? No, nothing. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go and find Juju. Dude, I'm just, like, mesmerized by all the clothing. When you talk like that, you sound just like Gaddo. That's how I know it's not worth arguing. What am I? Some kind of Gaddo okay. substitute? Yeah, it was... she's being weird. <laughs> I just keep on bringing up her husband like that, or her fiance. I saw it in the vision, but I can't stop her coming with us. I don't know how I can protect her. I need to tell her what the vision but I said. To do it. I will change the future. Shulk's inner voice has a weird EQ. Oh, she's in our party now. Be aware of buffs and be debuffs during battle. Uh, cure bullet effect grants debuff immunity to one party member. Also cures any debuffs that party members currently has. Supports effects granted to party members and monsters are called buffs. Grant buffs to other party members. Try not to let party members suffer for too long. Charlotte's cure bullet cures and protects against debuffs. 
which makes it very useful. Physical protect and damage immunity are buffs. Sleep and bleed are debuffs. Information. 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 Now can I do this? Who do I need for the heart to heart? What character are we missing out on right now? Another quest. Hello. Oh, it's a little kid. Could you find something for my little sister to play with? There aren't many toys here, and I don't know what to do. Three moth crawlers. We're gonna go find some bugs. I knew you people would help me out. I we're already on top of it. Look, would you look at that? What is this man laughing at? Who's this? My grandmother used to take me to a place filled with fireflies. Now that place is full of monsters. Do you think we can get rid of the monsters there for us? Two basin antholes. You're really going to do it? I'm so grateful. How many quests do we have now? Are these all current quests? Whoa. Okay, so I was told that the little stopwatches by them mean they're time sensitive. Meaning I need to do them as soon as possible. So I guess next episode we're going to start some of these side quests and try to go save Juju. Cool that we met new characters and have a new party member. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Get him, Ryan. Get him.